So it's like 8 o'clock at night. And it's Monday, but we planned a last minute trip to Europe, so okay. this is where it starts. Germany in Frankfurt, which is kind of weird because usually I fly into Amsterdam. But this is Jess. Hi. She's with me on the trip, and we're looking for some young horses and some older horses. We'll what do you see think? what we can find. Yeah, we'll go all, kind of all over, all the way up to Bremen. Three countries in 20, no, 48 hours. Yeah, it'll be good. just forgot my camera at the coffee place. Went back and got it. Lady was super nice. That's what you get when you take the red eye. Not really awake yet. So we just got here and went to a tax store that was pretty lame actually. There was, wasn't really very much stuff there, but I'm gonna launch my drone and fly it around in this little town. We'll see what happens. We bought some polar wraps. What do you think of that tax store? <laughs> So that's Frankfurt. There's a scooter. It's beautiful here. We're, we might try to stop by another barn tonight. Best part about Europe is they'll show horses to you at any time. So it'll be good. And then big day tomorrow, lots of horses. <laughs> o'clock at night here so let's zoom down. it's nice though the European hotels are always kind of funky like they're not normal like you know how, like in the US Normally there's they're kind of cookie cutter hotels, but here it's always they're always a little different. Um, 
But yeah, tomorrow we have a big day. We'll look at a lot of horses. I think we leave here at six o'clock and drive. A lot of today was actually driving. So we landed in Frankfurt and then we drove up north. So we drove a long ways, just got here. Tomorrow will be a big day trying lots of horses. So we'll go to a bunch of different barns. I think one tack store, hopefully, but a bunch of different barns trying a bunch of horses up in Germany. And then the second day we'll be down in the Netherlands and a little bit in Belgium and then leaving out of Amsterdam. So we'll see. I'm, I'm really excited for it. I think we'll find some good horses and like there's nothing better to me than going to Europe and trying horses. I, like I, I really love it. Um, and it's hard. It's hard to not to like make sure you don't get screwed over because, you know, they want to get rid of their horses and. So you have to be careful that you're not, that you trust the people that you're buying from and that you do a good job evaluating them, looking at the whole picture, you know, the whole mental picture, the whole physical picture, um, and try to get as much information from that experience, that little experience as you can. But there's no way that you know a horse in one one day or two days or anything like that. So it's really, it's a hard thing to go and buy horses, um, but it's something that as, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And hopefully you can minimize the times that you make a mistake and, and have a bad experience. So anyway, lots of horses tomorrow and I'm really tired. I'm ready to go to bed and catch some sleep. So we'll see you in the morning.